Colonel O'Neill is still waiting, sir. I know. Look, I'm sorry to bother you again. It's just he's getting a little... Pissed is the word. It happens when you keep someone waiting two hours. Well, welcome to the Pentagon, Colonel. Thank you, Dolores. You have to forgive me. I have a lot on my plate. At yeah, it's just someone's life at stake here. Sorry to take you away from your turkey sandwich. It's a ham and cheese, actually. And I'm the one who's sorry, because obviously you wasted a trip to Washington. I don't think so. You know, I was uh, just recently reading about Major Carter's disappearance. I couldn't help but wonder whether glowing aliens had something to do with it. Look, Simmons, I don't expect you just to tell me what's going on. But I guarantee you this trip will not be a waste. If I have to, I'll spend the rest of my life in this building getting to the bottom of all this and how it ties to you. Why are you so convinced I have something to do with this? A reliable source told me. I think I know who you're referring to, Colonel. And are you telling me that you're trusting a convicted traitor? More than you at the moment. Look, your opinion of me and this organization has been tainted by the actions of the very man you're talking about. I doubt very much he was acting alone. The NID is a legitimate organization financed by this government which has been duly elected by the people of this country. Damn, that has a familiar ring to it. Our mandate is clear, Colonel. I'm a simple man. Explain it to me. We provide vital civilian oversight of top secret military operations. Yeah. And who watches over you? We're not unaccountable, Colonel. And I admit there have been some minor indiscretions in the past, perpetrated by a few renegade individuals, but they've been exposed, and they will be brought to justice, with or without your help. Mayborn is pointing a finger at you. Yeah. Well, has it ever occurred to you that maybe Mayborn is trying to mask his own involvement? I'd need some convincing. Well, we recently traced a deposit made into one of Mayborn's offshore bank accounts. The transfer took place from a numbered company on the Cayman Islands. Three million dollars. Yeah. Makes you kind of wonder what he did to earn that kind of money. Doesn't it? 